but most I lived like an uh, yeah. <laughs> He's sounding you out on whether you're listening to him, yeah. you know, in any sympathetic way. Yeah, I'm like uh, growling and uh, nodding. Yeah. Or grunting and nodding. Exactly. That's why you are going to roll and add your charm. Yeah. To see whether, you see, th these are the personal roles like that. Yeah. yeah. Where you, th where the people decide whether, th to, to this culture everywhere, you are kin or as good as kin. Or you are not. Yeah. Mm. And this is where they decide. Well, you're just bad at throwing dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an uh, expertise of mine. Mm -hmm. oh. But okay. uh, no, nine. A nine. Ma no, oh, papa, ten. 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 Oh, well. Mathematics still. is not an expertise. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, mathematics. Yeah, it is 12 or better yeah. or not. Yes. That's how this re these roles work. <clears throat> and, uh, and, and Horst will turn the conversation to, well, you know, as he, he's assessing your yeah. your reactions, mm -hmm. and uh, and says, "Well, maybe this is too much to ask from from visitors. You know, we'll welcome you here to fight with us. Through this, uh, Leave us. Uh, no, I won't. I won't trouble you with more of our problems, with more of our details. Well, I try to." Uh, Reassure him by, by some uh, companionable silence or like yeah. e e eating together, just uh, just being there. Right, right. Um, but you'll like, notice, like I'm, I'm, I'm right. not uncomfortable. I'm going anywhere. Exactly, but so that I'm, is I'm the here. last of the intimate information yeah. that you are going yes, to get yes. out of this. Yes. <clears throat> um, and uh, and that same sense of well, I could have trusted this guy in fighting next to me before. Mm. Now I'm not so sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not so sure if we are fighting together whether yeah. he's really going to be mm -hmm. on my side. Right. Uh, because remember, he just told you he's willing to side with the Raiders. Mm. He's not sure he can trust you with that. Maybe that was a mistake to tell you that. Yeah. We all know the best way to cure a mistake. <laughs> right? Shut it up. <laughs> Permanently. Yeah. He has friends. Yeah. And like I said, I'm not the sharpest uh, knight. Uh, right, yeah, right. So, so, but, 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 but I'm good at listening, and I, I, I assume that I'm uh, good at uh, remembering things and then uh, telling my uh, yeah. So, so the, my the, clever friend. Yeah. So the, the so the four of you probably would be sharing some things. Now I have left you out a little bit because there's almost no social lens for you well, to get into this. I was thinking about because yeah. Elmo is. Still quite young, and uh, well, this chick broke down and got saved by the circle. Yeah, but it's still loudful. Yeah, some female company. Oh, I and see. so yes. he's searching amongst the people in the village for a female in need or I someone see. maybe a young right. widow, right? That he could help and maybe mm -hmm. fix things <laughs> for and <laughs> make life a bit easier for. <laughs> Interesting. So yes, there, there's as I say, the village had been somewhat battered. In the past, so therefore, lots of things are there to be fixed. Do you think you would be using some magic for this at some yes. point? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and have you. Sorry, what would be the difference between using magic and just using your ordinary skills to fix the things? If you didn't have the ordinary skills, and the magic will do it very well. Yeah. He's quite lazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you have repairs. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. And also, you can fix things that you Why? don't know how right. to fix, right. given yeah. your background. Yeah. So, but uh, him being a sailor, El I have Elmo would be excellent at fixing anything to do with boats or something yeah. similar to that. Yeah. But now, with this magic, he can fix anything. Right. <clears throat> so, in other words, whatever this woman might need. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so the 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 so yes, let's go ahead and do that. And the way you do this You're is such you toxic males, right? This is <laughs> this is called ascension. This is called ascension. This is where you identify or either a character I have played or one that you is find is logically there, and we suddenly make them a named character in the venture. Mm -hmm. Rules for named characters and unnamed characters are very different. Okay. So we are adding a named character mm -hmm. now. And so all you really need to do is grab a name. And I will add this person here. Oh, fun. Ingeborg. 
We already have one. Oh, right. We're already yeah. doing work. It's like my, uh, well, it that's what's why it was in my head. It could be two. Uh, it like, <laughs> let's go for Hilda. Hilda. Okay. So this is fairly clear. What we have here is a woman who is, uh, uh, if we're going to be looking at the same social rank, which it pretty much has to be, yes, right? Of course. Then we clearly would be dealing with um, <coughs> fisher, right? Today? Sailor, uh, marshal. No, that's a fish. That's more of a peasant. Oh, um, right. yeah, that's true. Priest. Okay, so yeah, uh, probably the the. Um, Probably a combination of outdoorsman and artisan, mm -hmm. I would suggest. So this is somebody who would be um, working with a lot of the, the the wood implements, right, that you use as tools and stuff like yes. that, because that's the the timber is the most readily accessible resource here. So this would be very common. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be like she's the only person. So what we have then is. Uh, this, um, so what we have is this sort of, uh, I'm, I'm imagining, a dwelling that would clearly be abandoned in the case of a raid. So therefore it is not as solidly or defensively placed or built. Um, but it is very accessible to wood being delivered. So the, therefore, um, and, and there would be plenty of benches and platforms to use for, uh, for an, an iron tools that are used to strip the bark and stuff like that. Um, and so then there would be groups of people working there. Um, she's this woman whose hips look like they have been around the world once at least and so she's able to uh and, and she has kind of a commanding presence among the people and she's the one who lives here uh, but your your eye has picked up that there seems to be no man involved in this picture <laughs> um and uh clearly she's well above the age and status where anybody or local when i say status i mean within this social rank that we Nobody's going to be telling her what to do with her time. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's 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 going there. Yeah. So Hilda seems to be in the in that zone, and so um, I probably have been spending a few days right. there, over there helping out and doing what I can. By now you're work. sleeping there. Yeah. By now that's that's <laughs> yeah, that's you. I think the first week was just spying. Yeah, the first week was, was <laughs> scoping things. By the second week, this is kind of where you have settled in, and yep. it's kind of kind of stated. Um, so things have progressed to where you might think, mm -hmm. and so uh, the the question now, and you don't have to make a charm roll. If you ascend somebody, you don't have to like have that difficult interaction to mm -hmm. see whether it's going to go badly or not. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, it's, 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 it, if you were to stay for another year, people would be talking to you about you as you know Hilda's young man. Yeah, <laughs> um, and so uh, so this has occurred. This is this this is your, so you're going to be talking with her. Yeah, or? I'm going to be talking to her about the life here, or how it's been going for you, and uh, have anything changed in the last well the, years? The 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 issue here is from her point of view is if you stay, you know, it, mm -hmm. it's uh, if you stay, and she's speaking personally, not mm -hmm. the circle. Mm -hmm. Um, because technically any of you can go live wherever yeah, you want. Yeah. It's not like you have a circle clubhouse or something. Well, and so, <laughs> and so, there, uh, so there you are. In fact, we might as well go ahead. It's, it's in the evening. It is, uh, you know, there's the broad frame bed that, you know, used to have two people and has not had two people for a long yeah. time. Yeah. And the, um, then this is an area that is wooded, so we are dealing. There's a bear skin mm -hmm. that you know of, 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 of not just a skin, a bear fur product. With a head. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, that's not what I mean. 
I mean, we're talking about the coverlet, right? The thing that you pull over yourself, oh, the, yeah. the cover. Yeah. So it's a little more, you know, their cloth is yes. involved, but it's mm-hmm. it's nice and warm. This is yeah. this is mm-hmm. dusty, right? <laughs> and so um, the so for a place that's that could be abandoned, she's set it up pretty nicely. Mm-hmm. Um, and so and she would tell you, you know, if you were to stay here, and You, she said, it would be a it would be a shame. You know, I wouldn't want you to get sick. Why? Um, well, you would be no good to me anymore. No, why, even why if you would live. I get sick? <laughs> um, and and she she tells you, you know, we we get sick here. We get sick here. We die more. We die younger. Uh, we, uh, you know. She even says, you know, the, the little ones uh, who, then this is not dreadful to you. Infant exposure is not incredibly common, but it is done mm-hmm. and sometimes seen as a necessity. But she says, they are not broken when we leave them. Oh. How do you mean broken? With Well, the, yeah. you know what that means. Uh-oh. They don't. Oh, they don't broken. Oh, no. They don't, their broke. oh, no, yeah, they no, don't no, break no, their no, limbs. No, yeah. Now, so typically in this culture, instead of leaving the infant there and saying, oh, gee, I guess whatever happens, happens, you actually do kill them and, oh. and break their limbs. And, and that is and that is to, to do otherwise. You're leaving babies to get turned into the undead. Mm-hmm. That's awful. And she says... She says, that's why I'm never having children again. Well, I and that's, let's, I okay, I don't know you guys very well, but I'll be a little more grown up here. In the course of your interactions with Hilda, mm-hmm. there is a certain anatomical event that she yep, prevents yep. Mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. And that's why. Well, She's never going to have children again. And why, why do you stay? Most people in the Crescent Land usually don't travel very much, first of all. Just no, so but, if it's, but if it's so horrible, it's our life. On the other hand, we are the safest place in Pamberga. We are never going to burn again. The raiders who come and attack, they will die under the fangs of the wolves and the spears of our people here. And when the word gets out with one or two more seasons of this, they will never come back. Is it worth it? This is where you get the big cuddle and uh, and the statement of, you know, well, it is now. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Which puts young Elmo in a slight <laughs> ethical dilemma. <laughs> Maybe she has a point. <laughs> Well, at least briefly. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, okay, okay. But uh, how serious is this to you, uh, this relationship? Or are you just like a flirty person? I was a flirty person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah but this is... But so, so is she only a bit warm, warmer to you? Or? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Maybe this conversation is going even further where I might not want it to, but <laughs> I will point out that if he is about 20 and if she is about 35... He's getting his world rocked. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so the, the next question is the, now the the groups assume that you are communicating with one another to an extent. You come into contact with one another, especially you two. Mm. You came together as a group. You're identified as a social group. It's not strange to anybody there that you would. There's a little puzzlement. I mean, nobody believes that either of you really fight with mail and spears and stuff. <laughs> Nobody really <laughs> believes that either of you really does that. Mm-hmm. But... But we have assured that they have a place to go to right. when the raid comes. Exactly. So we'll be like, <laughs> yes, they yeah. can fight. Exactly. <laughs> but, but the, you know, culturally, people yeah. are kind of like, yeah. mm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, bye, priest. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so, uh, so the, the, that's what I mean. I mean, the, the, there's some still some confusion. Mm. Um, gender roles here are also a little bit interesting in that um, for you, a man or a woman is fine. Um, for you, the, the point is, if a woman has taken up arms and can fight, mm. then she's backed it up. And, it, and at that point, yeah. people would be saying, well, I guess for you, it's okay. Right. Mm. And that's common mm. enough mm. to be sort of understood. But it is not. But this is not a gender equal society. No. Yeah. And uh, but uh, one thing that is very common is that you would have somebody who would be considered like a war chief or a chief merchant or something like that. And as soon as you get to know the situation, it's the wife who's the brains. That's that's not uncommon, mm. as well. So, um, yeah, nobody would call this woman the war chief they would be talking about her husband but strangely enough in the fighting there she is up in the front right telling everybody what to do mm-hmm. so that kind of thing yeah. is is, more, is mm-hmm. common but in your case no as soon as they have seen you move and mm-hmm. fight and stuff like that yeah. <clears throat> right so um yeah, I guess we see each other and share the information. Mm-hmm. And I don't really know how it did it occur in like the time was that we did it. Now this was or... all this was all simultaneous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, like, did uh, because you talk talk to Ingeborg as well, and it went in the order that we yeah, went. Yeah, okay, but it yeah. was all pretty close yeah, in time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, I mean, I'm not on the friendly side as uh, your character <laughs> right. is. Uh, right. it's, uh, <laughs> well, I'm not friendly. I'm formal. <laughs> yeah, no, right. Correct. But, but, I mean, you're, but you are you're accepted. In a bed, yeah, you're, yeah, you're accepted. Yeah, you're accepted. Right. I, I was more like... I'm just yeah. formal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the two of you will start finding yourselves frozen out yes. of the direct interactions. Mm-hmm. Maybe yeah. not necessarily by everybody. No, but but, but if yeah. in regard to those two characters, yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. no more information of that mm-hmm. kind is yeah. coming, and yeah. um, the, but uh, but they don't rule everybody else yeah. emotionally. So you for so to the unnamed people that you interact with in yeah. your social group, things are fine. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and I'm also an inquisitive fellow. Yeah, so, yeah, and we have time to talk to each other in private. Sure, mm-hmm. days go by. Yeah. Work gets done. Yeah. Are there any attacks while we are here? That's what we are about to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is still just rounding out the rounding out the the circumstances mm-hmm. um, that you would fairly be granted. I have some thoughts. Yeah. Here. And that's to. Uh, it seems that they have this witch edit in the woods. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she's causing them to have disease and rot and have to sacrifice their newborn. If we could remove that threat, they will grow stronger as a community because they don't have these diseases and sacrifices. And also, if we could unite the siblings, uh, it seems that her brother has influence on the Raiders. Raiders. Mm -hmm. And if they could unite, they also would strengthen their communities. Uh, You mean that the Raiders would unite with the community? Yeah, Yeah. I I guess there's probably a lot of different raiding gangs. Exactly. Like tribes or something. More like gangs. Yeah. Yeah. So the situation here is very unstable. Mm -hmm. Uh, so if we could remove the witch, unite the siblings, uh, then that's kind of what Horst was leaning toward. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, we might get this black magic out of this place. But maybe there's also I got the feeling that there might be. They were questioning why they were raiding the town. Uh, the information Horst gave you. Yeah. And. It, might be that uh, Edith has some kind of adversary, uh, maybe a white wizard Possibly. or something. The, the, implication, the implication was that uh, Ludger was focusing 
his people's attention this way because of, of his sister. Uh, of his sister. Ingeborg, yeah. yeah. 